Hello, YouTube. For a few months now, the Jinhao 992 has been a hot ticket amongst fountain pen enthusiasts. Even though the design is somewhat derivative, its performance is outstanding, its engineering quite decent, and the astounding low price makes it extremely popular. However, there is the problem. A lot of owners have found that cracks can develop at the end of the barrel, and that makes eyedropper conversion difficult. First of all, it's never been designed to be used as an eyedropper. While there are methods devised to seal the hole at the end of the barrel for the purpose, personally, I would not do that. That said, I want to deal with a cracking issue, so I took a closer look at my example and came up with a solution that can preemptively prevent it from happening and to stop the cracks from progressing any further. This example that I have was fixed well, a couple of months ago, and it's perfectly fine now. And I'll use this other one for demonstration purpose. I suspect the material used by Jinhao for the pen is polystyrene or some kind of derivative. While it is a very easy material to mold, it is also rather brittle, and here lies the problem. While the plug is effectively forcing the hole to get bigger, the material cannot give enough. So it is like driving a wedge into a lock, splitting would occur. So the way to tackle this issue is to eliminate the expanding force exerted by the plug and allow the plug to be in position as well. Here is the way to do this. First, we have to take the plug out of the barrel. The safest way is to push it out from the inside with a suitable stick, like something like this. Push it in, hold the end, and then, and out it comes. You can of course leave the plug out for good, that's the easy way to deal with it, but I still want to restore it to its original appearance. At the end of the plug, there is a little bit of a burr in there. For appearance sake, you can just polish it off with something like a lapping stone, and then followed by a nail to buff like this. The hole needs to be very carefully enlarged. The tool required is a round section needle file. You slide it into the hole until it stops, and then use only a small length of the file to do the filing. The aim is to enlarge the hole just enough without losing the round shape, so do not use too much side wave force, and keep turning the barrel. File it a few times, clean up and try fitting the plug again, and keep repeating until you reach the point where the plug slides in without pressure and is just barely holding. Making the hole any bigger would cause further problems, so don't go overboard. With the filing operation completed, you can see that the plug can slide into the hole easily. So all the expanding force it exerts around the perimeter of the hole is completely relieved. Now we've got to fix it in position. The best adhesive to use is epoxy resin, and it works well filling in the space between the cups at the end. Do not get any into the hole itself. Apply a tiny amount into the cup, or rather, the inside surface of the cup, but do not put any into the hole itself. Once it's done, carefully put the plug back into position, and try to be careful that do not get any of the resin onto the plug itself. This is a bit of a fiddly operation, so I have to do it off camera because having a camera stuck halfway up my nose is a little bit inconvenient. I'll be right back. Now the epoxy resin had been applied and the plug replaced. Now the good thing about epoxy resin is that when it is still wet, you can wipe up the excess quite easily. 
Another other advantage about the see-through versions is that you can examine the end quite closely to make sure that the resin has filled in all the space in between the two parts. Once done with the resin hardened, the plug is secure and the barrel will not develop cracks, and the existing cracks will not progress any further. I have to make it absolutely clear that this is not a method to seal the barrel for eyedropper operation. Epoxy resin and its adhesion are not inherently waterproof, so please do not expect it to work in this manner. If you've carried out this operation to your 992, please let me know of your results and share it in the comment section. In the next video, I'll be having a closer look at the 992 along with a similar pen. I hope you can join me then. Thanks for watching and bye for now.